Welcome to this episode of Made Easy Clinic brought to you by Peak Tutors. And of course, you know, I am the Bishop. I'm going to be running you through um, the fundamentals of physics in this lecture, um, which is measurement. And I'm going to be focusing on unit conversion because it is a part of measurement that is a little bit tricky if you don't know the basics of it. Um, you already know that uh, measurement is a means by which you can obtain the magnitude of size of any physical quantity and of course you know that there are some very big measurements and uh, also very small measurements that is very big values we can obtain in physics and very small values we can obtain in physics and um, that was how the knowledge of um, prefixes was introduced where um, we have um, powers of 10 that are positive, which is multiples, and powers of 10 that are negative, which is submultiples. Of course, we have 10 to the power 1, uh, which is deca, 10 to the power 2, ecto, 10 to the power 3, kilo, 10 to the power 6, mega, 10 to the power 9, giga, 10 to the power 12, tera, 10 to the power 15, peta, 10 to the power 18, exa, 10 to the power 21, zeta, and 10 to the power 24, uh, yota. Then we also have the submultiples, that is powers of 10 that are uh, negative. We have 10 to the power minus 1, which is deci, 10 to the power minus 2, centi, 10 to the power minus 3, milli, 10 to the power minus 6, micro, 10 to the power minus 9, nano, 10 to the power minus 12, pico, 10 to the power minus 15, femto, 10 to the power minus 18, ato, 10 to the power minus 21, zeto, and 10 to the power minus 24, yocto. So with that that we have in mind, let us quickly run through how to convert properly. In your secondary school and your colleges, uh, you were actually taught how to convert, but they didn't tell you why and how to go about it. The basic one that you know if you, is if you want to convert from, let's say, kilometer per hour to meter per watt per seconds. And what you were told then is to just multiply by 1,000 and divide by what? Divide by 3,600. But you don't really know how and why that was carried out. So most times when this unit is actually changed from what you are familiar with to what you are not really familiar with, you tend to be uh, like very displeased <laughs> with the question and you, you, you don't know what to do. But let me just quickly give you the trick of how to convert properly. Now let's say, let's take an example. Let's say we want to convert from, we want to convert 72 kilometer per hour to meter per second. So we have 72 kilometer per hour to meter per second. So we are going from a numerator of kilometers and we are going to be a numerator of meters. Why for the denominator we are going from R to where? To seconds. So what you were actually told is to multiply by 1000 and divide by 3600, which is this. They will tell you 72 times 1,000 divided by what? Divided by 3,600. But let me give you the simple trick. I'm going to give you this trick under what I term the chain link conversion method. If you know how to use this chain link conversion method in your lifetime till you leave planet Earth, you will never get any conversion question wrongly. Now follow me. All right, so let me apply the chain link conversion uh, method. Let me, let me write it here. It's called chain link chain link conversion method. The chain link conversion method is actually very simple. I'm going to illustrate it with this question that you are familiar with so that you know how 72 times 1,000 divided by 3,600 was actually obtained. Then we can now proceed into solving some other questions like one, two, or three questions. Then I'll give you an assignment or a, a, a drill to actually do by yourself. So this is how the chain link conversion method works. Um, once you are given a... a a physical quantity or a parameter to convert like this now I want to convert 72 kilometer per hour to meter per second what you need to do is the first step write it out clearly so I have 72 kilometer per watt per hour now let us look at this look at the numerator we have here we have a numerator of kilometer we have a denominator of what of r now where are we going to? We have a numerator of what? Of meters. And we have a denominator of what? Of seconds. We we'll have to focus on what? On converting the numerator first, then after which we will now convert the uh, denominator to our desired destination unit. Now, how do you go about that? In the chain link conversion method, once you want to convert, you will introduce a chain of multiplication and division. So I want to convert kilometer. Let me introduce a chain of multiplication and division. So let me introduce the chain. That is the first method. Now, 
you will have to know the relationship between where you are coming from and where you are actually going to. Now, I am coming from a numerator of kilometer. I am going to a numerator of what of meters. What is the relationship between kilometer and meters? 1,000 kilo, uh, 1,000 meters rather make what? Make one kilometer. So I have that. I have that 1,000 meters make what? Make one kilometer. Now, for the chain link conversion method, it is compulsory that one of the relationship must be up while the other must be down. But you are going to place them in such a way that where you are coming from, that is your source, we cancel out. And where you are going to, which is your destination, we come into being. So if I want to cancel out these meters and I'm to put the relationship between meter and kilometer such that one must be up and one must be down. Now, where will I put the kilometer in order for the kilometer to cancel out? Of course, down. So I have that one kilometer equals to what? 1,000 meters. So, kilometer can effectively cancel out kilometer. Had it been the question asked me to convert to meter per hour, I would have stopped there. It would have been 72,000 meter per hour. But I was told to convert to what? To meter per second. So that means I want to move my denominator now from hour to what? To seconds. What do I do? Introduce a chain of what? Of multiplication and division. So I have another chain because I'm still converting. Now, of course, from what I told you, the relationship between where you are coming from and where you are going to, we are coming from R and we are going to where? We are going to seconds. What is the relationship? between hour and seconds. 3,600 seconds make what? Make one hour. So we have that 3,600 seconds equals to one hour. So in the chain link conversion method, it is compulsory that one is up and one is down. But we are going to put it in such a way, like I've said before, that the source will cancel out and the destination will come into the proper position it is meant to be. So I want to cancel out R. Between 3,600 seconds and one hour, which will I put at the numerator side and which will I put at the denominator side? Of course, the R will be at the numerator so that I can cancel out the denominator of R. So that means I have one hour equals to what? 3,600 seconds. So what do I do? My R will effectively cancel out R. Then the next thing to do, you can actually see your unit you are going to, the unit you are going to. We have meters here and we have seconds here. So what you need to do now is multiply all the parameters up and multiply all the parameters down. So that means I have 72 times 1,000 divided by what? Divided by 3,600. So of course I have a numerator of what? Of seconds and, I mean meter, and a denominator of what? Of seconds. So when you carry out this, of course, if you use your calculator, 72 and uh, 720 divided by 36, I think we have um, 20 meter per watt per second. So this is actually how to carry out the what? The chain link conversion method. And I hope that is clear. Now, let me now introduce um, another example. Let's say maybe we want to convert, this is 20 meter per second. Let's say we want to convert it to feet per minute. Let's carry that out. We want to convert now. Um, 20 meter per watt per second, we want to convert it to feet per minute. Feet per minute. Just like I explained for um, the 72 kilometer per hour to meter per second, the same principle of the chain link conversion method you will apply to this question. Now let us quickly perform the magic and arrive at our answer. So what is the first step? Write it out expressly. So you have 20 meter per watt per second. So what are we interested in? We are coming from a numerator of meters and we are going to a numerator of what? Of feet. So you have to know the relationship between what? Between meters and feet. So um, what is the relationship between meters and feet? Of course, you know that um, um, one foot is equals to what? Is equals to 0 0.3048 meters. So this is the relationship between feet and meters. So let's do the conversion. What, do, what did I say um, some minutes ago? You introduce a chain of multiplication and what? And division. So I have this chain here. I want to cancel out meter. And in this relationship between feet and meter, it is composed that one is up and one is down. But you have to place it in such a way that where you are coming from, we cancel out. I've said that times without number. So I want to cancel out meter. Which of these will be at the denominator? Of course, 
the meters. So that means I'm going to have 0 0.3048 meters equals to what? Equals to one foot. So that my meters can cancel what? Can cancel meters. So of course, I did mean I was told to convert to feet per second. I would have stopped there. But I was asked to convert to what? To feet per minute. So let us convert the denominator of what? Of seconds to a denominator of minutes. Now what, what will you do? Introduce your what? Introduce your chain. Now, what is the relationship between minutes and what? And seconds. Of course, you know that 60 seconds is equivalent to what? To one minute. So I want to cancel out my seconds. So where will I put the seconds? Of course, the numerator. So that means I have 60 seconds equals to what? Equals to one minute. So that my what? My seconds can cancel my seconds. So multiply everything at the numerator side divided by what? Multiplying everything at the denominator side. So what do I have at the numerator? I have 20 times what? Times 60 divided by 0 0.3048. Of course, my answer will be in what? In feet per minute. So um, just ensure that you press your calculator accurately to get that. So we have 20 times 60 divided by 0 0.3048. So um, I have this to be um, 3937.01 feet per what? Per minute. Very, very, very simple. Now let me give you one more example before I give you some juice to go and work with. So let me quickly convert. I guess I can rub off this place. So let me quickly convert, okay, let me give us this drill. Express the speed of light. Express the speed of light. Express the speed of light in atometer per femtosecond. Express the speed of light in atometer per femtosecond. Don't be scared. We are going to solve it right now. So the first thing you need to know for this question is what is the speed of light? Of course, you know that the speed of light is um, approximately um, 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second or 300 million meter per second. So let us write it. 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per watt per second so we are going to what we are going to um, atometer per femtoseconds now introduce your chain you are no longer new with this method introduce your chain now i am going from meter to what to atometers i'm going from meters to atometers so what is the relationship between meter and atometer now you remember that um, one atometer is equivalent to what is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised power minus 18 meters. So this is the relationship between um, atometers and what? And meter. Now I'm interested in eliminating my meter. So which will I put at the denominator? Of course, I'll put my meters and I'll put my atometer at the numerator. So that means I have that 1 atometer equals to what? 1 times 10 raised power minus 18 meters. So my meters can cancel meters. Then I am going from seconds to femtoseconds. So introduce another chain. I have this chain here. What is the relationship between um, femtoseconds and seconds? Of course, you know that one femto one femtoseconds is equivalent to when I was talking about submultiples. Femto is ten to the power minus fifteen. So this is one times what times ten to the power minus fifteen seconds. So one must be up and one must be down. But I want to cancel out seconds and I want fem femtoseconds to be at the denominator. So uh, that means I'm going to put my seconds at the numerator. So that means I have one times ten to the power minus fifteen seconds is equal to what? One femtoseconds. So therefore, my seconds will cancel seconds. So, I think we can now do, um, we can now solve to get our answer because this is already atometer, yeah? And we already have femtoseconds here. So that means I have three times 10 raised power eight. Of course, you are going to use your standard form here very well and also your, your law of um, indices. Okay, this is um, 
times 10 raised to the power minus 15 divided by what? 10 raised to the power minus 18. So that simply means I'm going to have 3 times 10 raised to the power 8 minus 15. When this comes up, it becomes what? Plus 18. So that simply means that you have just 8 minus 15 plus 18. So this is 11. So that means I have 3 times 10 raised to power 11 atometer per femtoseconds. Very easy. Very easy. Now, I want to believe that you understand every single thing that I have told you under unit conversion. Now, there's going to be some um, questions displayed on your screen immediately after the video. Do ensure that you try out those questions. Try them and ensure that you solve more questions under unit conversion. And once you can effectively apply the chain link conversion method, I bet you, you cannot get any question wrongly. Do not forget to subscribe so that you can get notification and watch more videos um, on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode.